Sean, what were your thoughts after that one? Uh, thoughts are uh, two things, really. We're um, very disappointed with the result, considering uh, and maybe that's the, the first thing. The, the performance was very good, and it didn't quite match the result. So, um, yeah, we have to work on certain areas for sure next uh, to be in a better place to win the game next week. But, um, yeah, there's a definite disappointment with the result with how we played, considering going 1-0 down after 10 minutes. Yeah, there'd have been obviously disappointment with the way we conceded the goal and to go behind that early on. But the team showed great character, didn't they, to, to respond from that early setback and really push forwards in the game? Yeah, they did. Um, it's disappointing, I think, the goal. It's a second phase set play. It can become a bit chaotic. And Dungeon United now put the ball in the box at every opportunity. Uh, very direct. Um, but they're good at it. Um, and that's where, where their goal came from. And fair play to our players, our team. Uh, under the biggest pressure, they went and continually played, continually created chances or created opportunities uh, in the final third. I think what you saw in the first half, we weren't we weren't quite decisive enough in uh, in that final third, and that's why I had to change things at half time. Yeah, obviously, just before half time, though, Harry Clark got on the score sheet a debut goal. How much of a boost was that going into into half time? Look, yeah, it's a boost. To obviously. I think it's what we deserved. Um, it didn't really change or alter what I, alter what I thought on the um, on how on certain things within our game. Um, but it was a big boost for him. He's been excellent the, the three four days he's been with us, and you can see what we've missed the last three months. So um, uh, along with that, continue with Harry. He goes again, and the great thing is I think there's even more to come. Yeah, in the second half we created a number of of different chances. There was a huge one at the end as well. Just that final part that was missing. Yeah, look, it's a, it's a big miss for Elias. Uh, he's devastated. He's so young. He's only been three or four games for us. So he has to use it to make sure that the next time he has a, an opportunity like that, there's a different outcome. And then we're standing here talking about a very different result. Yeah, absolutely. And then obviously towards the end as well, there was a, a penalty decision that, that went, went against us. Obviously, Chris Mueller was booked for simulation. What were your thoughts on that? Well, I knew at the time there was contact. Um, and then watching it again, it's just... Uh, it's a uh, yeah. Look, the referee got the wrong decision. It's contact. It's penalty. But do you know what? It's uh, I seem to be talking about this almost every week. So uh, it happens. We move on, um, and hopefully at some point it evens itself out. Yeah, absolutely. And now obviously we go into the Edinburgh derby, the final game before the split. Another huge game for us. Yeah, every game's bigger. Like so, um, it'll be even bigger the week after uh, with the semi-final and a final. Um, uh, up for grabs, so uh, but that's what we're here for. We know it's a big club. I'm very privileged to be here. I work extremely hard to try and give the supporters what they want. I actually love how demanding they are. Um, so yeah, uh, big games are what we're at this club for. Um, so I look forward to it. Yeah, and top six is still in our hands ultimately. It is, yeah. Um, I think that's what, uh, uh, after speaking to media there, you can see how these results can dictate decisions within games. So um, yeah, no, top six is there for us. Uh, if we perform like we did today, we have a good chance. But we do have to improve in that final third. I think there's moments when we can create even even more chances. But we've known that for the last few weeks, so um, we continue to work on that. Absolutely, Sean. Thank you for speaking to us. No problem. Thanks a lot. Cheers.